friends in the last lecture i have explained in lot of details some of the laws of logarithm and how logarithms are magical in simplifying the calculations for example it reduces multiplication to addition division to difference or power to multiplication there are many advantages of using logarithm so in order to get used to the problems of logarithm i am going to ask you certain questions i am going to solve certain questions for you okay so the first question is uh, express this question number 1 question number 1 very simple express express 2 raised to 3 is equal to Two raised to three is equal to eight in logarithmic form. This is a very simple question. I am just asking you or revising the notation. So two raised to three, two raised to three is equal to eight. This is the information, and it's a correct statement. Two raised to three is eight equal to eight. I want to express in terms of log. So in this case, third power of two is eight. That is what is being stated. In logarithm, we will ask you which power of eight is uh, which power of two is eight. So that means I am asking you what is log of eight to the base three. So log of eight to the base three, uh, base two is equal to what three. This is a logarithmic form. Okay. So this is a Conversion of a logarithm. There is a question number one. Now, question number two. What is question number two? Question number two is express express one uh, twenty five to the power raised to the power one third is equal to five. Okay, this I have to express in terms of log. Fine. So I told you while converting exponential notation to logarithmic form if a raised to x is equal to y then x comes here right x comes here so x uh, is equal to <coughs> then x comes here okay so x will come down so it becomes x then equal to equal to log y log y and this a comes here so it is log of y to the base a Same thing. So here, this one third will come down. Okay, one third is equal to log of five to the base one twenty five. One third is equal to log of five to the base one twenty five. This is how I converted the exponential notation to logarithmic. So this is the rule. X will come here, A will go here, and log of y has to be taken. So log of right hand side, this becomes the base. So base here and here in the logarithmic notation is same. This is a base here, this is a base here. Okay, so that is how you can solve these simple problems. Okay, now let us do the converse. That means we'll take a logarithmic uh, form and convert them into an exponential form. So what I have to remember is very simple that. If I want to say log of uh, a to the base x is y, in effect, I am just saying this a will remain here and it becomes x raised to y. So a will remain here. This x goes here and y goes up. Right? That is the rule. Okay. So by using that rule, I am asking you, what is log of six twenty five to the base five? What is What is log of six hundred and twenty-five? Six hundred and twenty-five to the base five. Now, now log of six hundred and twenty-five to the base five. I want to find out. So there are many ways of doing it. First of all, I may convert this into exponential notation, and then the problem is solved. So I will say let. I will say let. So log of six hundred and twenty-five to the base five. Let it be equal to what x. Okay. 
Now in exponential notation, this would mean 625 is equal to 5 raised to x. Okay. Now 625 is a fourth power of 5. So 5 raised to 4 is equal to 5 raised to x. Now 5 raised to 4 is equal to 5 raised to x. So base is equal. Therefore the powers must be same. So this implies that 4 must be equal to x. So we have found out the value of x to be equal to what? 4. This is one method. Second method will be like this. So this is first method. Same problem can be solved in a different way. Second method. Second method is what? Log of 625 means actually 5 raised to 4 to the base 5. This is equal to what? X. Okay. Now according to the law, recall the law that log of X raised to M to the base A can be written as M log X to the base A. So this is this is the power, this power will come here. So that means 4 log of 5 to the base 5 is equal to x. But we know that log of any number to the same base is equal to 1. So this number is actually 1. So 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 4. So there are two ways of writing, solving this problem. Here I have used purely logarithmic properties and here I have converted into exponential and solved the problem. Choice is yours. Whichever you feel comfortable, you can use it. No problem. Okay. So I hope you understood this method. Now, let us take the next problem. What is log of 625 to the base 25? What? Now, okay. What is the value of? What is the value of? Log of 625 to the base 25. Okay, that is the question. So how I deal with this question? Very simple. I will just express 625 as power of 25. 25 square. So this is to the base 25. Then I will use another law which tells me that this 2 can come here. So therefore this is equal to 2 log 25 to the base 25. But if you take log of any number to the same base, then this answer is equal to 1. So 2 into 1, so answer is what? 2. So that is the another problem that I have solved. Okay. The next one that I have in mind is this. Express the in exponential form. So express in exponential form. What is to be expressed in uh, uh, so that is log of log of point zero zero one to the base ten, right? This is equal to minus three, correct? This equation is written in a logarithmic form. I want to write this equation in a exponential form. So, as I said, you keep this number here only, right? So point zero zero one nine, and then this ten you take here. And then this minus 3 becomes the power. Okay. So 10 raised to minus 3 is 0 0.001, which is correct. Why? Because 10 raised to minus 3 happens to be 1 upon 10 cube, right? And 1 upon 10 cube is 1 upon 1000, right? And if you write 1 upon 1000, then it will be 0 0.001. So that can be done in this manner. Okay. So now find. Next question is find uh, log of 216 to the base 36. Find log of 216 to the base 36. That is a question. Okay, fine. So what will I do? I know that both of them are powers of this uh, 6. So actually this is 6 raised to what? This is 6 raised to 3 and this is what? 6 raised to 2. Now I don't know whether I have introduced this law but 
let us take this 3 on this side. So, this means according to log of logarithm that log of x raised to m to the base a is equal to m log of x to the base a. Power becomes multiplying factor. Okay. So, this power becomes comes here. So, this becomes 3 log of 6 to the base 6 square. Okay. Now, I am going to introduce one more law which is very interesting exactly like this but slightly different. Log of x but this mth power is of x. So, if it is mth power of a then what will I do? So, log of x to the base a raised to m can be written as 1 upon m, here it is multiplied by m, here it is divided by m, log of x to the base a, very interesting law, okay. So, here this is a, okay, and this is m, right. So, this m will come here as denominator. So, 3 by 2 log of 6 to the base 6, but log of any number to the any, any same base is always 1. So, the answer is 3 by 2, okay. So, that is how you can solve this problem. Now, now let us solve this problem. Find value of x, value of x if log of x minus 1 to the base 10 is 3, is 3. That is the question. Log of x minus 1 to the base 10 is equal to 3. This is a question to be solved. But obviously, I will have to resolve to exponential notation and remove this log in order to solve this equation. So, I told you this x minus 1 will remain here, x minus 1 will remain here. This 10 will go here, so 10 will go here and 3 becomes the power. So, x minus 1, I will uh, write it in a better way. <coughs> so, x minus 1 <coughs> is equal to 10 raised to 3, but I know what is 10 raised to 3, <clears throat> so x minus 1 is 1000, that means x is equal to 1000 plus 1, so value of x is what, 1001, zero, zero, one. that is the answer, can you see this, A very simple question, okay, now let us go to the next question, now let us do this problem. Solve. Solve. Uh, log of. Log of. X minus 1. Plus. Log of. Plus log of. X plus 1. This is equal to log of 1 to the base 2. That is the question. Now, you have to remember one thing that log of 1 is always equal to 0 no matter what is the base. Log of 1 is always 0. So, this means log of x minus 1 plus log of x plus 1, this is equal to 0. But I know that log of m plus log of n is always equal to log of mn, m into n. So, I will use that. So, this means log of x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1, this is equal to what? 0. Now, the base is not given here. So, whatever the base is, suppose the base is a, right? So, log of x square minus 1 to the base a assume right any base I can assume provided it is not equal to 0 and not equal to 1. So, this is equal to 0 no. So, no, no remove the logarithmic notation. So, this comes here. So, x square minus 1 becomes a raised to what 0. So, it does not matter what a was it is actually equal to what 1. So, x square minus 1 is equal to 1 which means x square is equal to 1 plus 1, that means x square is equal to 2, that means x is equal to what? Plus or minus under root 2, okay. So, that is how these questions can be solved, okay. 
Now, question is express this equation without using log. So it is like this: two log x plus three log y. This is equal to log of a. Okay. Now this equation I want to write without using log. Fine. So first of all, this two I will take it as a power of x. This three as a power of y. Okay. So that is the first step that I want to take. So log of x square plus log of y cube. Right. This is equal to log of a. Okay. Which means log of m plus log of n is log of m n. So it is log of x square y cube. This is equal to log of a. So log of x is equal to log of y. Then x must be equal to y. So both the quantities should be same. So that means x square y cube is equal to what a. So this is the equation. And I am not using any log here, so that is what the express uh, without using log you can express it like that. Okay, fine. So this is how it is done. 